Good day. Hope everybody is doing well. In this video chat, I want to talk about the human resources of today. Human resources has changed considerably over the years, even just the last 10 years. Back in the day, 20, 30, 40 years ago, human resources was really a processing function. They hired people, they processed paperwork, they processed their um, compensation, they processed their evaluations, they did discipline and evaluation, or discipline and investigations, maybe some labor relations, but it's very much a processing. Human resources wasn't paid as much because there wasn't as much value to the organization. Um, and that value is what I want to spend the rest of our discussion talking about. The primary role of human resources today is to optimize human potential, to get the most out of the human resources that work for the organization. In other words, to get the most out of the people that work at the organization. The highest productivity, the greatest performance. We hope to get the most performance out of the people that we have so that we don't have to hire as many and our expenses go down. So that's our goal today is to optimize human potential. We take the talent and skills in our organization, try to get the best that we can afford, and try to develop the employees that we have so that they can do more without us having to pay more. That doesn't mean we don't want to pay employees. It means that we don't want to pay as much for our human assets as we, we did years ago or that we may have to in the future. There's a primary reason for that. Labor costs in the United States are higher than in some other countries. About 60% of our economy is influenced, are affected, are impacted by globalization. In other words, products and services from other countries. So if we in the United States do not properly manage our expenses, and mostly the, the highest expense is personnel, then organizations in the United States are in danger of their jobs being outsourced. So human resources can play such an important role, not just for the organization, but for the employees who work in the organizations. In many ways, they can safeguard the jobs of people who work in an organization by hiring the best people and developing the best people that work for the organization. So we've looked at two aspects. We've looked at that human resources is charged with optimizing human skills. And we second aspect is that human resources is really devoted to securing the best talent for the organization and then developing the talent within the organization. Third aspect that we want to talk about is somewhat what I referenced, which is internationalism uh, and globalization. Organizations today find it much easier to move operations overseas, and that's to the detriment of anybody who lives in the United States, of course because we want to have good jobs here. Human resources plays an integral component of being able to analyze staff costs, analyze the resources that are needed, and then from that analysis, try to develop a work plan that not only meets the needs of organizations, but employees as well. This is the primary reason that human resources today is what we call a strategic player in the organization. That means that if the organization wants to grow, if the organization wants to merge, even if the organization wants to downsize, one of the key players today that they're going to be talking about is human resources. Human resources has moved, as we started this discussion, talking about the processing function. We've moved away from the processing function. We don't do as much evaluation processing, compensation processing, risk management processing. Much of that is outsourced to other organizations that specialize in that aspect are, we've computerized it. And so we look to human resources organizations do to right size an organization, to say this is the way that we can organize the organization, structure the organization so that it meets our needs, both from a philosophical viewpoint but also from an economic and practical viewpoint. And human resources is now over the last 10 and 15 years, transitioned to become this strategic player that talks with management, that talks with leadership, that talks with executive boards and says, if this is the direction that you want to go, this is the type of talent and development of staff that you need to do. If this is the strategic direction you want to go, you currently don't have the staff that will get you there, but this is how we can develop the staff or this is how we can 
um, purchase additional staff that has specialization in those areas. That is where human resources is moving towards. There's other aspects as well, but it certainly gives you some thoughts to think about. Hope that works for you, everybody. We look, we look forward to chatting with you often. If you have any questions or comments, we'd love to hear them. Otherwise, enjoy the day.